Ever wanted to drink till the cows come home? Ever wonder what kind of beer those cows would brew? It's a farmhouse ale. Says on Paul. What's up, everybody? It's the beer's gone bad. It's where the beer flows like wine. I am your host, Scott Van Book. And I'm Pat Tugin. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing DuPont Saison. You might know Saison DuPont from such things as Rape Beer or Beer Advocate, where they scored over 90 points. We have on Rape Beer, what, 99? 99. And Beer Advocate, 93. Three. My bad. Okay. Whatever. Saison DuPont, farmhouse yeah. ale from Belgium. Let's get into it. It's gonna be rad. I was talked into taking Saison DuPont home for Bottle Craft downtown. I asked them what would be a wonderful beer to start our new season off with. Something that I've never had, something that has a lot of clout behind it. The guy didn't even think twice. He brought me right to the shelf with the French farm mills on it and said, Saison DuPont. What do you know about Saison DuPont? I don't know much about Saison DuPont. I know that it's an amazing beer, not just from Beer Advocate and Rape Beer, but from uh, our buddy Dan Drain said it's in his top, top, top. We, we mentioned that we were going to review this beer tonight, and he lit up like it was like, hey, by the way, we're going to have Christmas again this month. He's like, oh my god, this is great. He was really excited. So when Dan, Dan knows his beer, so when Dan gets excited about beer, I get excited about beer. There's not many people out there that have ever had a Saison DuPont that you're going to find and be like, well, that beer actually really sucked. Every single person I've talked to has said this beer is awesome. Six and a half percent, comes in a green bottle, Belgian, farm, Belgian farmhouse ale. So what was Dan saying about farmhouse ales earlier? Uh, the farmhouse ales are technically, I mean, so what they what they do is a Saison as a style is brewed in the spring before the work season starts and they're cold lager, or they're cold stored in the mountains. So the working class, when they come out for like, you know, the springtime, they're working in the fields. This is a beer that has matured over the last couple of colder months so they can drink in the fields. Similar, similar to lager. So it's, it's a longer fermentation process and all that good stuff. The bottle, it's, it's a bottle condition kind of idea. I mean, it's not because it's a, I mean, it's an ale, but I get where you're coming from. The bottom line is, is it good or is it not? This one has more going on on the nose. This is one of those, yep. things, this is what I like to smell when I smell a beer is a really, really like full, like, hey, what's up? I am a beer, I am in your glass. We are about to party in your face. It's more specifically your mouth. This has got a little bit of a banana kind of front yeah. to it. It's got a lot of like spiciness, like still has that kind of astringent, um, that Belgian style you smell, smell. You smell like astringent. It smells alcoholish to you. Uh, to me, it smells more fruity and kind of like I wasn't using more astringent. sugary. Astringent as far as alcohol, but is as far as spunky or as it's a farmhouse ale. So technically, you get a lot of like describing words of farmhouse like goaty, uh, hay farmhouse like it's like that weird like it's the farm smells it's that really earthy kind of like yeah mm, it's a it smells like a goat i feel like i'm in the zoo it's it, it, it's a petting zoo in a glass saison dupont a petting zoo in a glass no but really that's what that's what i meant by astringent i didn't necessarily mean by alcohol that has got such sweet fruit banana-y like with a small little like spicy back end when you swallow it. That is freaking good. Freaking good. Freaking good. In the last Ooh. in the last review, Pat asked me, Scott, what Ooh. would you do to this Devel to make it better? And I was like, I, I, I don't know, more 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 betterness, like make it better. I don't know, more make it saison Dupont. That's I think what I would say is make it more like a saison Dupont. That Ooh. is, and no, no, dude, it might. Am I not 100% right Whoa. in saying that this is a Belgian style beer that is Whoa. is hitting it on all the marks? I have to apologize because on the last review I gave you a hard time because I think I was trying to make more out of that beer than it was. And I completely agree with you on this. Had I gone back, I would rate that beer at a six and a half like Scott did and put this one in an eight, eight and a half range. Easily. 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 This is, this Holy smokes, dude. And again, this is coming from a couple hop heads. We are all about the hop beer beers. I like it in your face. Like I'm, we're about to what do you like here. about this then? I like the 
flavor. I like the smell. I like the full, I don't even call it full bodiedness. The fact that when you when you lift it to your nose, you know that you're about to have a really good sip of beer. It's not one of those ones that delivers on the nose and then lacks completely on the palate. And then you take a sip of it. When you're talking about clover and spices and those those back end flavors that come like mid sip, this one really really delivers, but has that same kind of citrus and fruitiness up front. This to me wow. is the idea of a Duvel done perfectly. <laughs> Again, I understand they're different beers, so if you're a Duvel fan or Duvel, um, they are different, but they are very similar in characteristics. I I challenge you, take a sip of that, oh, run it sick. around off your palate a little bit, swallow it, and let it sit for a couple seconds, and then tell me it doesn't get sweeter after you swallow it. Up front, when you swallow this thing, it's smooth, it's kind of like really velvety kind of feel. A little bitter and spicy in the middle. And as you sit there and kind of work your mouth around, that thing opens up into like a like banana. And look, at the, look at the glass. Like, look at the lace on the glass. And I'm not a huge oh. fan of highly carbonated beers, but if you're gonna do it. It's the word I'm looking for. Do it well like that. Look at the coating. It's got that now and later. That's what the back end of this tastes like to me. <laughs> Yes, a now and later. Up front, velvety, wonderful carbiness. In the middle, spicy, peppery, and then the more air you get into it as you swallow it, that becomes a really smooth, sweet, now and later flavor. I would like to propose this. Where are you drinking this? What are you eating? And give me a rating, all within 30 seconds. Go. Nine. I'm going to be on a boat, on the water, I'm going to have a piece of grilled fish with this, and I'm going to rate this a 9 as well. Ooh. Guys at Bottlecraft, you guys nailed this. Thank you for recommending this to us. I'm going to go ahead and say, oh. I, don't know how many, I don't know how many 9s that we've done on the show. We're over 100 episodes. Um, but it's going to be 137. No. This, this is hands down in my top 15, probably top 10 of beers. On that note... Ooh. I'd like to say, it's the beer's gone bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the beer pulls like one. Try something new tonight. I'm Pat Tugin. I'm Scott Van Book. Until next time, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Good beer. That's a fucking great I'm glad I bought that beer. No, that's a good beer. This, dude, this is where I was going when you were like, what do you want out of the belt? I don't think you're giving it enough credit. This is what I expect from a $12 beer.